Samsung has launched four laptops under their Book 3 series, and all of them are high-end ones. It would have been really nice if Samsung launched the mid-range ones also, like last year with the Book 2 Go and Book 2 360. But we have only these four for now. Samsung has launched the Galaxy Book 3 Pro, the Book 3 360, the Book 3 Pro 360, and the Book 3 Ultra, Samsung's flagship laptop that aims to compete with the likes of the MacBook Pro and the Dell XPS and others. Let's begin by talking about the Book 3 Pro. This laptop is powered by Intel's 13th gen processors which are EVO certified which is a really good thing. There is a i5 variant and an i7 variant. Both variants come with Intel Iris Xe graphics. You can choose between a 14 inch or 16 inch 3K 120Hz OLED display with a response time of less than 0.2 milliseconds, which will improve gaming performance. Editors can also work well with the display for it comes with 120% coverage in DCI-P3 color volume. Similar to the Book 2 series, the Book 3 series is very slim and lightweight, weighing around 1.17 kg for the 14 inch and 1.5 kg for 16 inch. Coming to the I.O., you get two Thunderbolt 4 USB-C ports, an HDMI port, a micro SD card slot, a Type-A port and a 3.5mm headphone jack. Wow, you don't get to see so many ports in a laptop these days. You also get a large touchpad which is a good thing. They are not giving like smaller trackpads which other, some other vendors do. You get a 63 watt hour battery on the 14 inch and a 76 watt hour battery on the 16 inch. And Samsung hasn't claimed any battery life unlike Apple which is a sensible move to make because the battery life which you get compared to what like they say is very like different so it's better not to mention anything and you get a 67 watt fast charger bundled in the box hopefully you get a quad speaker studio quality mics and a 1080p webcam the price for the book 3 pro starts at 1,31,990 for the 14 inch i5 variant and I feel this is the most ideal one if you are looking to purchase this laptop. You can also look at the Core i7 variant which sells at 1,39,990. The 16 inch variant starts at 1,49,990 for the i7 variant only. I am not sure if these prices are only during pre-order or whatever because it's not mentioned properly on the site. so. Don't like hate on us if these prices are different and you check it later on. The Book 3 360 has almost the same specs but the display is a FHD 120Hz instead of 3K on the Book 3 Pro and the display sizes are reduced to 13.3 inch and 15.6 inch. As the name suggests the laptop can be turned around and used in tent mode or even folded completely flat and used in tablet mode. You get a S Pen included in the box if I am not wrong which you can use to take notes or make digital art. The starting price of the Book 3 360 starts at 1,9999 which might be for the 13.3 inch i5 variant because nothing is mentioned about this on their website. Uh, the 15.6 inch i5 variant is marked at 1,14,990 and the i7 variant is marked at 1,22,990. The 13.3 inch i5 variant at 1,9990 makes perfect sense in my opinion for a student who, should, who could use it for taking notes, coding, playing games in his free time and other like small uh, small small tasks. The Book 3 Pro 360 has a 3K 120Hz display and is available in only one 16 inch size. The price of the i5 variant is marked at 1,55,990 and the i7 variant is marked at 1,63,990. I don't see why you should pick this over the regular Book 3 360 except for the 3K screen which I don't see justifying an additional price of 40,000 rupees. Finally, let's talk about the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra, Samsung's flagship laptop for 2023 at a starting price of 2,81,990. At this price, what do you get? Intel 13 gen processors, i7 or i9, and Nvidia RTX 4070 or 4050 laptop GPU. All the other specs remain the same. At this point, you can also get, at this price point, you can get the MacBook Pro with M2 Pro or M2 Max chip. 
In my opinion, if you're looking to buy a very high-end laptop, depending on whether you use an Android phone or an iPhone, you can't go wrong with either the Book 3 Ultra or the MacBook Pro. Both laptops have top-notch performance and ecosystem features. Yeah, now for Samsung's newest gen laptops. Um, let me talk about the Book 3 360, the Book 3 Pro and the Book 3 Pro 360 and address them all at once. Uh, I won't go into the specs, but my honest thoughts. I See, I don't see anyone buying a Samsung laptop. I'm not saying it's their fault specifically, but I, I haven't seen anyone with a Samsung laptop. Maybe the people I'm around don't spend that much on a laptop, but even in the workspace, I don't... I mean, I've obviously seen people working. I'm not in a company or anything, but I don't see anyone recommending a Samsung laptop to... I mean, like, no one looks at Samsung as a laptop player. Obviously, phones, it, though, it's a complete different story. Um, I think what Samsung needs to do... Do you know, if for those of you who don't know, Samsung is successful in their Chromebooks, but not their Windows laptops. The key problem with Samsung's laptop lineup is only one thing, and it's pricing. Samsung's territory is the above 1 lakh field. Uh, the above 1 lakh field is the hardest market, in my opinion, because you clearly have people who are willing to spend. But right now, the competition is so, like, it's so up there that a new brand like Samsung just has no appeal. It doesn't have anything specifically extra going for it. And I don't think so. Samsung uses really... Um, care about the ecosystem to be honest um for apple obviously their laptops are now good but there are a lot of people who care about the ecosystem and yeah the one lakh pricing starting at one lakh fourteen thousand nine hundred which is absurd for the specs you're getting i mean you can get much better laptops and maybe you won't get the touch screen or whatever but i don't know um, I don't see many people using touchscreen laptops in itself. I know Athar has one, but I don't know. It looks like a novelty to me. Uh, most of the times you're using laptop as like a thing that would stay on your lap or on your desk and you're using it like that, but uh, to each their own. I mean, if you want this, you can buy it. Uh, I know a few people who like it a lot, and but most of the people don't want to spend that extra, but I think this is the market Samsung is trying to capture. Now, design-wise from one from one angle it looks very premium but when the keyboard is open it looks like a cheap lenovo idea pad the bezels are horrible for the price considering it's competing with the likes of the xps and you know how good the xps looks or uh, the mac i mean the mac has more equal bezels it looks a bit more better this looks like an idea pad or something lenovo would make not no dis to lenovo lenovo is a good manufacturer but the idea pad is a bit cheap and when you're paying over one lakh, I think you would want a good looking product. Now, my strategy for Samsung would be to get, first of all, make it easier to repair, easier for companies to use. Your target consumer should be companies. That's how big brands like Dell, uh, HP, Lenovo, they make money through companies. Companies that make large, large orders. Once you get users to start using that, the companies will come next year also they'll want your new laptops that's how you do a quick sale um, make it easy to use keyboard everything should be nice battery should be nice webcam should be nice i think this should be more of like a business based laptop not like a personal this thing like even for artists i don't think so i would recommend this get an ipad um, or maybe a surface but what i'm saying is I think Samsung's best bet, sales-wise, is linking it with some companies, like how Dell does. Another gripe I have is the Windows operating system with it. At this price, if you're selling Galaxy Book 3 Pro, why are you bundling it with Windows 11 Home? I think there's a Windows 11 Professional, which clearly has much more features. So I don't see why, obviously you can update it, but I think uh, if you are also going the the company route, uh, most companies would prefer having Windows professional editions also, and some people prefer having Windows 10 also, so that's one thing. 
but the pricing is very expensive you know that i see much better deals and in a in the day and age where max are going crazy with everything i don't think so there's a touch screen yet I mean, obviously there's no touch screen but i don't think so there's a touch screen mac going to come soon leaks say otherwise but i don't think so it's going to happen samsung's only competitor is the surface because of how absurd it's priced i think samsung needs to be a bit more realistic price it a bit better i know they give good deals but i don't i simply don't think it's worth it you're not getting anything extra for that like at a price of 1 lakh 19 thousand 1 lakh 14 thousand what is this a laptop offering that's different from the other brands that actually have a good reputation in the laptop sphere i i just want to end at that point because i don't want to keep this too long in my opinion the pricing is absurd i know they have the latest gen processors but when i'm spending so much on a laptop i'd rather have a brand that has a proper repair center has some experience or if i'm not doing that at least give me a laptop that is a class apart from the other laptops right for example the framework laptop if it is above 1 lakh even though the specs wise are on the sheet it it might be worse than the other laptops so even the looks might be worse but i'm getting like at least a novelty feature there's no novelty feature in this one now some may say s pen or whatever uh i mean whatever pen they have but dell does that hp does that and sometimes even cheaper maybe not the latest and greatest processor and when you're running such you know the battery life also sucks see the Ma- the whole story is that max have taken the game to another level and most of the people who are coming up with this two in one laptop personally for me i cannot justify the price because of the performance being so horrible in windows i don't want to say much because clearly i might have a bias but i think i still think it's a bit overpriced i think i'll end at that listening to gautam's thoughts it kind of makes it clear why mainstream creators don't talk about this as much but still i think i could ab- I could be able to recommend maybe the Book Three Three Sixty base variant at one lakh nine thousand, like I said. But like, like Gautam was telling, the other laptops are kind of overpriced, especially the Book Three Pro Three Sixty, and uh, even maybe the Book Three Pro is like, it's not like competitively priced. Like especially if you are a new player into the market. the way to attract customers is by keeping a competitive price i don't know how samsung is going to work on this series more next year or what are their plans is not known so hopefully next year's pricing is better or maybe they launch the budget laptops like the ones they had last year with the book 2 go or something like that in the upcoming months Let's see what happens.